This is a Game Caviar production. Alright, not having it in the Game Caviar Studios uh, the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, I know, I mean, I haven't done a video in a long time. Uh, let me turn the fan on real quick. One of the reasons why I haven't done a video in a long time is uh, work schedule, time, schoolwork. Uh, my wife got me this new HD PVR for Christmas. And while it's good because you it uses HDMI, you can't use HDMI when you're doing PS3 because Sony prohibits stuff like that. It's weird. Anyway, uh, it's looking good. This is PlayStation 3 footage, of course, Black Ops 2. And it's looking great. It doesn't look this good on Xbox. And Xbox uses the HDMI. So I don't know what's going on with it. I got to work out the tweaks on the Xbox 360 uh, front. But on here, you know, it works pretty well. This match worked pretty well in my favor because I got over 60 kills. Uh, I think it was 62 and something. I don't know. It, it was either 60. I got at least 60 kills. It worked it really well in my favor because we are playing against literally a team of something that it's not supposed to be in Black Ops. I remember reading an article where they said that they were literally going to do all these. Uh, they were going to make the game so that you couldn't quick scope. Well, apparently they didn't do a good job at it. I know it's a surprise that Treyarch is having a tough time making a decent Call of Duty game. I In my last video, I, I asked the question, does Call of Duty, does Black Ops 2 suck? And a lot of people saying, yes, it does. As I get a Warthog, which is arguably the most badass kill streak in this game. Anyway, look, I mean, they, they screwed up. Plain and simple. Treyarch did it. They, they put out a game, and it was really fun at first, I'll admit. I was like, man, this is amazing. This game, it runs smooth. And then it was just connection issue after connection issue. And it's, it reverts back to the same old Call of Duty. Why can't they get dedicated servers? Why is that? This game made half a billion dollars in 24 hours. I do not want to hear the argument. I don't, I don't want to hear... It's too expensive. I doubt if Battlefield 3 made half a billion dollars in 24 hours, they have dedicated servers. It's not that expensive. I don't understand how this game makes so much money, but yet they always give us the excuse of dedicated servers cost too much money. That's the excuse that I heard. Maybe there's another excuse that's more rational. There's another excuse, but it's probably not rational because they need they I mean there's no excuse why they they're not doing it it's laggy it is it is it's honestly laggy and I mean I don't I, I just don't I don't understand why they can't seem to put together a game that has an online component to it that actually works like it's supposed to I don't have this problem when I play Halo 4 Back when I played uh, Homefront, when that game came out, I put many hours into that game. I did not have the same issues. I, I mean, you got all these different games that, that have come out and that do such a better job uh, at, or online. You know, Battlefield 3, of course. Of course. And I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to compare games as far as... Uh, you know which one which multiplayer is fun more fun or has more features no i'm talking about the the structure of the multiplayer the actual uh, framing of it how it's created what it runs on they didn't they they do all of these things and it's like look we want you to uh, we're going to try to fool them by saying we're going to change it to peer to peer connection that's going to get rid of most of the lag, and that's going to help out guys a lot. You know, that's going to help out the players a lot. Well, it didn't help out anything at all. What are you doing? What, I mean, what are you talking about? Just give us the damn dedicated servers. You have enough money for it. It's not like it's going to break the company. And even if it does cost a lot initially to start up, you're making half a billion dollars in 24 hours. You're going to be fine. 
I, I don't I don't get it. Am, am I missing something here? I mean I, I mean I don't I don't understand what's what's the uh what's the issue here? Let I me mean, let me know. Am I wrong for wanting dedicated servers in Call of Duty? Is it like um is it something that that shouldn't be asked for? I haven't played zombies, but some people that I know said that it's pretty cool. Uh, and I'll get on later on. Uh, it's going to be, I don't know, man. It's like, it, it, I like zombies. I liked it in Black Ops, but I didn't, I'm never, I'm not that guy to, that really enjoys playing zombies. So maybe this one um maybe this one will really make me like it's just like assassin's creed 3 i didn't like assassin's creed games prior to assassin's creed 3 but i love assassin's creed 3 so i don't know May if i hop on zombies and i'm like oh my god this is amazing then i'll do more zombie videos but i definitely will play it as part of the game um see look at that i mean it's like what why are they lying like that it's a, it's a blatant lie when they say Look, we've made it so you can't quick scope. I'm in a lot. This whole game, the whole team did nothing but quick scope the whole game, and they were doing it like like you don't see. I, I don't think I I left in any kill cams. Well, this was taken off theater, so. But I watched the kill cam. I'm about to steal this guy's care package. I watched the kill cam, and it was like it was almost like Modern Warfare 3. I was like, am I playing Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare? Because Modern Warfare is normally known for quick scoping, but not anymore because now they have it. Here, in this game, it's like Treyarch does not understand that all they have to do, and it's the simplest concept in the world. You want people to stop ragging on you, and you want to stop pissing people off. You give the customer what they want. The customer is always right. We're not asking for anything out of the ordinary. We just want something that should be an industry standard that is not in your video game. Like, how hard is it for you to set up a dedicated server for the people who pay sixty dollars a game that allow you to make twenty or uh, half a billion dollars in twenty four hours, how hard is it for you to actually take care of them? They even took out Nuketown twenty four seven. I mean, I don't understand how of uh, how these guys are idiots. They're stupid. You don't take out one of the 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 most popular things in the game and replace it with something stupid. I will play Nuketown 24-7, 24-7 if I could. I love that map, and it's fun. Why would you take that? I, and is, is they always have a lame-ass excuse. Like, instead of them just being like, oh, we screwed up. We're going to put it back in the game immediately. It's always like, well, we replaced it with, uh, uh, what, I don't even know what it's called. It's the Marsh Pit with small map. It's really fun, and you guys are really going to have a good time playing it. No, man, it sucks. I want Nuketown 2025. It should be... It, it, I mean, these guys are stupid. I mean, I don't understand who they have making uh, decisions for that company, but they, they, they're they out of touch with the gaming community, and that's what's really holding them back. Uh, I, I installed the HD textures, and the game still looks like shit, so I don't know what to tell. I mean, the game doesn't look as crisp as I thought it was, as it should, but whatever. Uh, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.